What a curious little door. I wonder where it would lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Yeah, if someone put a yarn of blood into my eye, I might pass out too. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. Oh my goodness, where am I? I'm wearing a cat hat. Huh? What is this? A hat. Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head. Kitty? Wait just a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. I'm gonna read this note real quick. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you are here somewhere. Welcome home, beautiful kitten! We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Huh? This is not home? Okay. A cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. Oh, 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 oh. Window. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh, a sharpie knife. A uh, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. Dry my hands. I don't have soup. Spatula. Yummy. Cookies in all colors and flavors. There's honey. There's dead rose. Flowers make me uh, sneeze. Baking soda. Makes the biggest cupcakes. Pine cone. I don't dare touch it. Maybe it will attack me. At least she doesn't forget. After slapping the shit out of that pine cone so many times, she learned firewood to keep the chimney warm. Chimney. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. Sure looks that way. Let's go look at all the eyeballs and stuff. I'll, I'll cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Are those eyes? Yeah, they are. From a human, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Just, it's there. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Bottles, milk jar, dry flowers. Okay. Was I supposed to drink blood and eat meat? That is gross. Okay. Let's, let's, let's head on over here. Boop. Okay. Meat everywhere. I don't usually hang pictures of meat in my house. Oh yeah, I forgot. Whole new world. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Nobody loves you? But you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall like a picture so everyone can see you. I see you have a comfort uh, comfortable in there, little baby. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Oh my god, what are they do- A secret bottle with a secret inside. Where, where's the secret bottle? I want to climb up these. Oh, there. Alright. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. A bridge. Well, considering how... The, okay. Can I just throw the knife? Can I... Can I just... Okay. Well, I'm gonna untake the pills, and I'm back in here. So let me explore this a little bit more. Let me look at up here. Just click everything real quick, because... Um, salt. A very good ingredient. You are correct. What's that inside? Looks like a seed. It looks like a potato gr growing eye and the eyes are growing roots. Oats, beans, rice, pepper. Okay. Why am I getting soup ingredients? Olive. Squirrel body parts. I don't want to know. Yeah, that's about correct. The window is locked. Great. Okay. 
I have matches to light up the darkness. Or just for fun. Okay. We got a few things here. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. Okay. Light up the darkness. I, I refuse to be lit up by anything but the softbox. And the hair light. And the screen. And everything else that makes light. Okay, there's a feast here. I'm starting to think... Oh, they're separated? They look like uh, like they belonged on one body. The faces look familiar, but I'm not sure. Could it be? What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. A walk on the beach wouldn't take so long. Looks like somebody lives there. They have a chimney, like where I am. That was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. Okay, th this, this is not my cup. This teapot has no tea. Th how about a candle? Delicious and beautiful. There's a lot of things here. Caramel, candy, chocolate cake. Maybe just a little. No, oh, I'm going up. I'm going up. Hold on, I'm not even finished with this room. A vase to put some flowers in. It has ashes inside. Examine. Use. Use pile of ash. Oh. Okay. I understand what the deer wanted back at the hospital. Okay. Does this turn back into the bottom of the well? Yep, so no matter what I do, when I go back, it's in the bottom of the well. So I'm trying to solve that. Jeez, game! I feel like there's something very wrong here. Oh my goodness, the smell. Poor girl. Who could have done this and why? Jance, the Blueberry Tree, Volume 2. It looks like Antonio the Greatest. Yep. Sure is. Only a bit younger. A oh, record player. I wonder if it works. Try it out. How about this? Typewriter, and it works. I can't close this window. I'm gonna touch the bird. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Alright. The stairs end up in a wall. Okay. Well, that body on the ground is disturbing. More disturbing is that this is all happening to a little girl that's 10 years old. A broom to fly away or just to clean around. I've seen those things. A monster who likes goats. I've, I've seen a goat monster, so that's cool. The sisters, they look alike. The drawer open. Let me see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. Again. Light it up, up, up. Cool, light me up. Whoa, cool. Didn't expect that. Let me let me go in here first too. This is screwed up. A mirror, but my why is my reflection not here? Because it was hard to program in. Oh, it's a monster and so much blood. The perfume smells like teenagers. Tweezers to pick things that man little hands can't. I guess I'll be girly when I grow up. Okay. This looks like a very old painting. Mommy holding two babies. I lay down and sleep tonight where I get back home. Whoa, why is the creepy one? I hope they didn't hear me. Hello, doll. Who caught you? What? What's with the nest of baby heads? Yeah, I'm starting to... Yeah, how about the dead body? How about... Oh, God, what are you... What's in the cage? What's in the cage? Why did my phone shake? Uh. Mm, because of no reason at all. Cool. Whoa. Oh God! Stop. Oh. 
Oh, hello, little babies. We sewed you two together. Looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. A bunny doll. Are you waiting for Easter? The shoes are too big for me. Is this the bleeding fox? Foxy, I know. I wish I could take you out of there. The sisters. They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. They're mental. Just one hat. Scorpions make her nervous. A pretty doll. Um, big umbrella. These dresses are pretty too. Um, dead rat. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. He's not getting up. The toys in the attic always carry sadness with them. A lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? What weird stuff you can find in the attic. I wouldn't like to be abandoned in the attic. A dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. Okay, what about over here? Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Oh, really? It's you, my, oh my goodness. My beloved friend, I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me, come closer please, let me see you. It is, oh Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while I got lost, my senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I will open this cage. I need to get, to, we need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, friend? It wasn't really me talking to you. What? I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? <laughs> did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. Go on, Fran. Please get me out of this cage. Find the key. Find the key. Okay, I'll find the key. Well, I found Mr. Midnight! Oh, God! Um... Can I get across that, uh, place with the broom? Well, it made me fall. But hold on. I've got so many items, I'm gonna try this real quick. Just real quick. Looks stable, let's see. Nope! Huh. Bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Well, crap. Um. Mm. Matchbox. It's not gonna help. Well, it's a good idea. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? 
my head. My head is in, in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world, who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Franbo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it you know all this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great. I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. It's very odd for a girl who loves a cat more than anything else in the world. And yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find a way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door. And that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Ah, oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in a tree because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old. But I have to turn 11 soon, and you? We are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. Um, I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. I started this conversation to be polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? I'm not stupid. And I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiots, you asked for it. If you don't do what we asked for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. You are evil and poisoned, but I'll do whatever you say. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes. Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea to act uh, how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old lost body. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself. We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be do two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you are like this now? One night, a long time ago, something happened in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later. We are not attached to one another, to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. Um, this sounds very scary. 
I'll have to do it for my kitty. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Oh, please, let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No, you can't. And friend, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> well, you are a pair of dicks. Um, let's see. We have this now. Lost in the darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the heart of a young virgin, the head of a young virgin, the hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. I think I have most of that now. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or a cauldron with plenty of water. When you're about to drink the potion, repeat these words. I'm not even going to try. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there's something else I can do. Um... Hmm. Can I get out the window now? The window stopped blowing. Oh, no, it blow it's blowing again. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. Wait. I could write something, but what? I don't know. You're the one that said you needed paper. I was just trying to think outside the box. Um. Shoot. What do I do? Let's see. Um, so am I the house? Oh my god! What are you? It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Well... Pills change this? Doubters need the truth on paper. Oh, I need a new truth on the paper. Rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. My sister's trying to catch me. But I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Hang you. Ribbit, ribbit, hang you. Yes, who's speaking? <laughs> me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's not the sound it's making. Yes, what is it? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. I won't trust them, I promise. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Hmm, huh, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I will really want to get out of here. Wow. Okay. So they straight up murdered a girl with this spell. Eager to do it. Um. So I have to change the spell, but what do I change it to? That's where I just got stuck. In my head. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm trying to think hard. Can I now use the typewriter? Is that something I can do now because I've, uh... No. 
No. No, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Use with that typewriter. I could write something, but what? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Hmm. I can't get up there, can I? They locked the attic, but how? Hmm. Wait. A key for it. All right. Um To the window. Water all around. Water makes me feel helpless. Okay, so I have to figure out how to do this without actually doing it their way. Otherwise, I'm gonna die like the girl did. Um, so I need to possibly look at the body again. Inspect the crime scene. Uh, smell. Poor girl. The head? Oh. They had to take her head? Is that what happened? Okay, so how do I figure out... I had an idea all of a sudden. Uh, use with the fire. <laughs> can you? Can I see anything through it? Can I see what used to be on this with the fire? Okay. Wait a second. Ah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Plenty of water. Let's do this. First thing first, let's fill this cauldron with plenty of water because I already know how to turn this on. Water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Okay. Heart of a frog, head of a young virgin. Hair and blood from a black cat. Pentagram made of ashes. The burnt body of a fox. Um. Turn off the faucet, because that's going to drive me nuts. Dancing Teddy. He doesn't have shoes and it makes her sad. Um. Use pile of ash with. Nowhere? Ooh, 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 ooh! Why is this part painted in black and white? It's not painted. Yes! It's been burned here. That worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Okay. Pentagram made of ashes. What are the candles for? I always think of them as edges of the... Yep. Okay. 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 No, the cauldron. Use it on the stove. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what am I throwing in here? Baking soda? What should I... Mm. Okay. What do I do? I 
I always put salt and pepper in everything, so why not try? What is that thing? No, uh, I was looking at the thing next to it, but... Um, Alright, I don't know what that does yet. How about the wood? I'm at a loss. Hmm. Let me go out and talk to that frog one more time. Did you find a solution already? I'm mentally stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. <laughs> I know you have something that makes you see that others can't. How do you know that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. Never thought of it, but you are right. Please help me. Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. See what I can find. Um, I, I, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea. A long, woody plank. I could do something with it. I wasn't even trying to get that. Big, big rock. I'll leave it there. Probably because I can't do anything with it, because I can't... I mean, what am I supposed to do with it? Moonlight on the water. Feels so beautiful and calm. I always feel like the moon is following me. Okay. What do I do with a wooden plank? Oh, the well! The well! The well! I can get the message out of the bottle! Oh, and that's probably got what I need to, to do the thing. Okay. Okay, I'm picking up what they're putting down. Got it, got it, got it. Plank, use, here. Seems stable. Do that. Cut it down. With, uh, hanging bottle. Whee! Jump down! Okay. Nope, guess not. All right. All right, that, that'll do it. Now let's get this. What? Why did that have to happen? That burned. Why? There is no fire. I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. Um, tweezers? Yay, I got the paper. This is so exciting. Okay. Okay. Okay, I already did some of these things just because I was I saw the thing on the ground, okay. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. I'm sitting on both my hands. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an unpure soul or, for, or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need... Bottle, blood from the executor of the ritual. Oh, these are things I already did. A, bl a blue bloomed moonlight rose. Hair from the person you want to bewitch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a lightened black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and boil the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you walk around them. Okay. Uh, I need to put my blood in the bottle. That's great. In the fire, rather. Okay. 
I see a blue rose there. I should have grabbed that. I see another blue rose. Um... Ah! Oh, God! Oh. Alright, put it in there. Where else do I have to go? Um, I hope it tastes good. Tra la la. With her blood just going into it. That is creepy. Okay. Hair. Hair and the blue rose. The vanity upstairs. A brush. Let's see. Can I actually take that blue rose? How about this blue rose? This is an actual blue rose? Nope. Oh, oh, no, now I know what to write on here. Use bad recipe with typewriter. Yep. Hair from your head. Oh! Oh, 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 okay. Hair from your head. Um, what is the last thing I need to do over here? Moonlight Rose. A blue bloomed Moonlight Rose. Well, this one's gonna actually end up being a longer one. More like a normal size. Oh my god, she's in the mirror now. Jeez. Um. Blue bloomed moonlight rose. Where do I find that? These flowers. Pot has no tea at all. Oh god, they're here. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you are ready. Psst, girl. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye! Was that the head of the virgin? Or the... Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't see him. Did you find a solution already? Hi. No, I'll go now. Is there a blue rose out here? No. Is there a blue rose in the well? No. Do they have a blue rose for me to use? We are waiting for you, Fran. Blue rose, blue rose. I don't have a blue rose. Examine. I, my hand is on the knife. Okay. A blue bloomed moonlight rose. There's a blue rose out in the water. It makes me think to go outside and figure it out. Blue bloomed moonlight rose. Seed. There we go. Got it. Wow, this is a re uh, really is a nice blue rose. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. So I'm almost finished with this section then. 
Cause this is this is the longest one so far. Well, I, d I should have done it in two parts. I could broke it up into two parts. Goodbye, Blue Rose. In the pot now. Okay. So I need their hair. So I gotta show them the recipe. Use this with them. Look, ladies. There's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? There's no hair needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down there, in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Oh boy, I'm about to screw him over. Okay. Use. Put it in there. That should be it. Shouldn't be anything left of you. There's some missing ingredients. Okay. Black candle on every point. Fill a cauldron with water. Put the oven. Bo boil. Pour over the portion you want to be rich. Do I need to stir it or something? Do I need a spoon? I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Um... No, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think I just gotta tell them I'm ready. Just gonna splash it in their face. Take that, bitch! We are waiting for you, friend. What, what, what else is there? Can I just stab them? Can I, can I, can I just stab them? Um. Okay. So I did everything. I feel like I did everything. There's some missing ingredients. I hope I'm doing it right. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, it needs some salt and pepper. What? It did need salt and pepper? Oh god, it's right there. I just was looking over it because it was crossed out because I already had it. Oh, it was because I already had it, not because I had done it. Ah. Oh. I am the worst. Okay. Okay. So we're about to do this. And then this extra long episode of Frambo will be over. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. I'm not going to even try to read whatever that is I have to chant. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Splash, bitch! They're not happy about that. And now I'll say the words. Bande ikim, o irbirkim, o ibire, nam imbire, irgburnte, irg irkan. Begman, hufmin man daim gafhim. Bere ik itus irnimbe bogme ibirem isin. I tried. Wait a second, that's not the right spell. You tricked us. Whoa, boy. Something's not happy with it. Why was one stabbed and the other not? What have I done? Oh my goodness. This is not right. The key, now I can free, free my dear kitty. I'm nervous. But I can't get to the kitty. But I can get to that little keyhole. Okay, I'm gonna go for the keyhole. On top of the mirror is what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully that'll do it, because um, I'm intrigued. Like, I'm so intrigued that I keep forgetting that I'm actually doing, like, a let's play. Like, I'm, like, I'm... Like, I'm really involved in just figuring it out. Key was for this keyhole. 
Was that a puzzle? I don't get the point of the puzzle. Oh, 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 gears all the way over to there. Bingo! Got it. Whoa, creepy. Whoa, creepy. Oh, God. Two skeletons. What is this? Sister promised. We, Clara and Mia Balamit, Bahalmet, promised to re revenge the unfair destiny Itwar decided for us. With blood and tears, we promised that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other, and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. It were did that? Oh. It's from that place I was in, isn't it? Two-headed doll must be a really old doll. My pills are called duotine too. Must be the key to the cage. Mother must die. My mommy wasn't very was very good. She hugged me many times. Okay. Do I get Mr. Midnight? Go on, friend. Please get me out of this cage. Find the key. All right, use the key. Get the kitty. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out. Let me hug you. Oh. Oh. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran. My good friend. You are free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Yes, let's. Okay. How do I do that? I have my kitten with me. I don't know how to go home. Wait. Does he stay with me when I take the pills? No. That's an issue. Let's talk to the frog and see how we get out of here. Then I'm ending this one. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. How will we get out of here? There is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help, but I am too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Baking soda! Take this toad, it may help. I'm not a bakery bun, but you are all sliming soft like dough. You're right, it may work. Here it goes. Whoa! It worked, it really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, so let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. All right. If he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay. We try not to hurt him so, we, so much while we're set, sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture and thought it was yours. Aww! He found the picture! This book was with it too. Leon. 
No, that's not my book. Look. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh, well. Take the book as a gift. It always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes. Here we go. Hold on tight. Isn't that just delightfully creepy? All right. I think I'm at the end of where I'm going to play to for right now. Are you kidding me? I have to play Frogger? Is it legit Frogger? No, it's probably click Frogger. Okay, I got this. Got this. Got this. No! Got it. This is so strange. Did we just switch to claymation all of a sudden? Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, we just switched to claymation out of nowhere. Mm, run it down. Okay. We're across there too. And Frogger is finished. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Mr. Toad. Thank you. You too, farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Friend, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Well... I'm going to end it off right here. That might be enough content for two episodes. So if the, this one has an abrupt beginning and the ne last one has an abrupt ending, then it's because um, it's because I just played straight through it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying. I'm going to sign off for right now, but pick it up back up immediately. Um, and uh, I really do hope you're enjoying because I, I, I know I'm not doing the best on commentary. But I'm, I'm like, into this, so, like, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here really, really soon. Bye!